Now, if your thing is watching someone who's clearly going through a midlife crisis trying to make an absolute tip of a house livable for his family of five, this is the place for you. Got loads going on this week. Um, finishing off all the cladding, hopefully plumbing in radiator, plumbing in the toilet. We've got another toilet. Yay! What else? Loads of stuff. Hello, we're Hayley and Chris. We're a family of five and we've just bought a tiny two bedroom cottage in the countryside that sits on the edge of a woodland. This is our dream home. It's our fixer upper. So hit subscribe and join us on our journey. We are slowly getting there. So it's starting to come together. I've done all of the edges and corked them in. So once that's had another coat, the last bit of architrave, but that's just temporary for the moment. Then here, what I'm doing is I'm putting the dowels in for the shelves. I've worked out my level. I drill a hole that's the same size as the dowel. They are glued in and then I'll paint them later. And there you have it. That's how they'll be supported. They're glued in, that will take plenty of weight. And um, yeah, happy with that. It's gonna look good. Got this in, pipes in, get the toilet in. Really, I should wait until the top coat, I've got to do another layer of undercoat, but we really need another toilet and I, I can work around it. Done the grouting, I've tidied it up there, it needs a little bit more of a polish, but it's getting there. It is plumbed in. Okay, love that. Right. It was a Friday, so I'd already been working. Now to be honest by this point I was absolutely exhausted so it was time to call it quits because the next couple of days were going to be full on. Okay so on the final push for um, getting this done. This has all been clamped and sealed. I've got to tidy up. There's a load of excess silicone that I need to tidy off but that's not a problem. That is all in. Tap is attached ready to go. I've ordered all the plumbing from Screwfix, going to pick that up in a bit and we will get that plumbed in today. Yeah, that's a lot. There's a lot to do. Anyway, just get on with it. Alexa, could I have some Smashing Pumpkins tonight, tonight? Sorry, I don't know that. Shh, dude. Alexa, can I have Tonight, Tonight by the Smashing Pumpkins? Tonight, Tonight, Remastered 2012. There we go. Smashing Pumpkins on Amazon Music. Gonna deal with the piping, so I've decided I am gonna insulate it. I know that the pipes have to be 45 centimeters apart. I can tell this is totally doable. I've made my marks on the board where these are. The pipes are gonna come out, and I'm gonna position it. Make it nice and easy. I've worked it out exactly where this is gonna be. Then we're gonna get a square edge, go up, decide whereabouts I want it, and that's where the pin will go. What I figured out is, this pipe will be halfway through the board. Um, I haven't got a piece of wood to share, explain. So this pipe will be halfway through the board, and then regular 15 mil pipe will come out here. 
Yeah, so I'm going to start this side because it'll give me a cleaner cut on the front. This is the idea. The pipe will fit in to the wood, but you can see now the hole in the back, this is probably a better example, is much wider than the hole in the front. Really enjoy this bit. If I had all the tools, it would be much easier, but it's good trying to do a workaround. So you can see here, nice and tight on the um, board, so and that's painted, and then you've got room at the back. Scrap that. Everything I said earlier. It's all nonsense. The insulation lifts it off the wall, brings it further forward. That's the cut. It's not that bad, but to me, it's just not perfectly snug, and that bothers me. But then, it gives me a bit of play when I'm fitting the radiators, so that's okay. I just really enjoy, if, if, if it's a 15 mil pipe, there being a 15 mil hole, and it fits perfectly, and it's little things like that I really enjoy. I really enjoy seeing things that are meant to be. And uh, really bothers me when I can't make it like that, but there we go. Anyway, enough of my bitching. Back in the loft with some pipe. Um, I've gone for the Flexi push fit pipe again. The thing is, the last time I did this with this stuff is when I fell through the ceiling. So I'm going to try and be careful this time. But I'm sure if you're a plumber, you're watching this thinking, what the hell is he doing? But unfortunately, because I can't spend lots of time doing one thing, like the plumbing needed redoing, I couldn't do it as one new circuit. I've had to put gate valves everywhere so that we have central heating in other areas, which is, you know, just is what it is. This and this, of the flow and return that will go to the bedroom. And I'm just gonna use that. I'm gonna jump off that to do the bedroom. Have to remember to stick your valve in before it goes in. And then make sure it's square. Push it right in. Right, that's good to go. Okay, so we've got no leaks here, no leaks here. No upstairs, that was Pain, but at least we know we're all good. We're all good now. So I can start boarding this up, start boarding all this, which is great. So here we go. All walls are done if you liked the episode hit like and subscribe if not as you were